the next next question from that would be LHR. So what's it like to to work with the LHR cards? How, how challenging is it? I imagine it's quite difficult when, when you're working with these, but when you do achieve something and you do crack one, it must be a pretty good feeling, right? Uh, well, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it had it it, it had a kind kind of a, an up and down. Uh, the very first uh, hack we found for those cards on the uh, 3060 back then was running two miners in parallel and recognizing, okay, my ease hash, hash rate almost doesn't go down. Then we started throttling the second miner running in parallel, making it slower, and so, okay, our ease hash, hash rate is actually going up. What is that? Yeah, we're <laughs> now mining something small in parallel to ease hash. Both are hashing. And ESH is quicker than locked. Okay, so that means we need to be unlocked. Uh, and additionally, got some work done by, by the second kernel. Yeah, and that, uh, that was back then the, the hint uh, how to work within. Um, so obviously, uh, they needed to be busy with, with something different than ESH or with some additional instruction uh, to make them unlock. Um, today, it, it almost is. <laughs> Is a little bit like handling with a with an razor blade. Yeah, you, you really try to pin this edge. Okay, I'm just not locking because then you're you're getting uh, the most hash rate out of it. Yeah, spend as few time as anyhow possible on the, well whatever you you use to distract the the driver from. Do not recognize this, <laughs> <laughs> and um, well. Of course, that is very uplifting the moment you, you find it, found a good solution, um, of course. It also can be kind of, um, well, I also had my bad moments with it when I thought, okay, I've got a good code, ship that to the miners, and um, uh, well, then it turns out, okay, for most of the miners, it doesn't work that well. Hmm. Shit happens. Uh, also, of course, during the development um, I had this this hack for the 3060 very, very early on the old drivers. Then I installed the new drivers and recognized, okay, it doesn't work. Did tweak one or two small parameters. Hmm, it still doesn't work. Okay, screw it. Obviously, they fixed it somewhat. That was my thought. And then later on, I saw a NB miner doing, um, doing the first move for the version 2 cards. And then I thought, okay, what the heck did they do? Why did they get it to work and me not? And uh, well, in the end, it turned out my Y1 code already was quite good. I just needed to, to turn uh, the parameters more into the extreme because the version 1 codes all did aim to almost 80% of the speed. But uh, actually, we then started with 69 to 70% on, uh, on the newer drivers. So I just didn't get do enough. And the day I found that out, I was sitting there. Oh fuck! <laughs> I could have had the I could have I could have had the solution much earlier. The yeah, I could have had this three months ago. But uh, yeah, I, I, now I'm a little bit late to the party. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but of of course it is it is somewhat interesting. It's also binding a lot of your attention uh, because uh, this is a domain where where there's still a, a lot of stuff um, to gain. Yeah, we, we had gains of 1% to 2% uh, from one code generation to the next one. And um, this is, of course, much more interesting than writing the 30s, 40s iteration of your ESH code again to gain 0.02%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, there's much, much more gain in it. On the other hand, it obviously, it, it binds uh, own resources. I urgently need to do something about my AMD codes. I'm not telling exactly that for half a year. It's about time. They get a little bit more attention. Yeah. 